Good morning and welcome. This is your Thursday morning soundtrack with Miranda on LTR. If you're not a morning person, then you're in luck. We're quickly approaching 12 o'clock. The wonderful Aliki from Pearson's Got Talent will be here in just a moment. If you have any questions for her, tweet them to us at LGR1033. LGR, the heartbeat of the Greek community. Now this morning we do have a very special guest here in the studio, as promised. She has been the talk of the town since her first audition a couple of weeks ago on Britain's Got Talent. We saw you walk out on the stage and you said in your very, very sweet voice... What's your name? My name is Aliki. And then from there we all got very excited, all my family were like, shh, Aliki, that's a Greek name, that's a Greek name, she's got to be a Greek girl. And then obviously the Greek community, as they do, got very excited. And now you're here, only a couple of days away from the semi-final, and we're so happy to have you in the studio. I'm really happy to be here and thank you for having me. It's been such an amazing ride and thank you for all your support, it's been amazing. Congratulations on getting through to the semi-finals, that must have been a massive deal for you. I think it was one of the biggest happiest moments in my whole life that when they announced that I was in the semi-finals I feel it's just like a dream come true for me. The semi-final is going to be this Saturday on ITV1 you're going to be on it starts at seven o'clock it's completely live in front of many many people I mean how do you feel you nervous excited? I am a bit nervous but I'm just so excited about the whole process it's been oh it feels like I'm on this cloud that's moving so fast and I don't want it to stop. I want Saturday to come, but I don't want it to come because the whole process has been so exciting. And I do hope I go further to the finals because I've got so much more to give. I know you said that if you make it through um, and win Britain's Got Talent, you are going to be celebrating by marrying your fiancé. Is that correct? Those were not my exact words. Not your exact <laughs> words. <laughs> I will marry him whatever happens. Regardless. Regardless. But uh, it will be a nice way to celebrate. It will be like a double celebration. Definitely. A Mamma Mia-like wedding. <laughs> <laughs> what about if you get through to the final? Because that in itself is a huge celebration too. Do you have any plans to celebrate getting into the final? If you make it through this Saturday, of course. I have been so focused with this goal of mine with Britain's Got Talent and the positivity and the energy that I have been receiving all these days ever since my audition has aired. I want to just sing my soul out for everybody as a thank you for all the support they've been giving me and I do hope I go to the finals. It would just mean the absolute world to me. Well, if you have no celebratory plans for getting into the final, which we all hope you do, of course make it through. Maybe we can invite you back here to uh, London Greek Radio and do a barbecue because that is our tradition. Anything worth celebrating, we have <laughs> to light barbecue. the barbecue, of course. <laughs> Last week it didn't rain one day and we threw a barbecue just for that. But mind you, in England that is quite celebration worthy. And you are going to be singing a different song in the semi-final a different song in the semi-finals which i'm so excited about it's been one of my very most favorites ever really oh are and we allowed to hear what song it is or is it going to be a secret until saturday no i want it to be a surprise okay a surprise <laughs> we won't push you on that one then and then uh, in my final song i think is even better so I do hope I get through only just to sing that song. Of course, Eliki does need your votes. Make sure if you guys are watching Britain's Got Talent this weekend, as me and Maria, who's here in the studio, will be. Hello, Maria. Hello. <laughs> we will, of course, be voting. Make sure you do support Eliki, and we do want to see you in that final. We'll be back right after this. Don't touch that dial. Keep in touch with London Greek Radio. Join our Twitter family at LGR1033. We are back and we are, of course, joined by the very beautiful Aliki here in the studio. Thank you for making it down today and welcome to London Greek Radio. Thank you for having me we, again. It's been a pleasure to be here. And we know you're so busy as well with getting prepared for the final this weekend. And so we're very happy that you found the time to stop by. And of course, a massive congratulations for making it through to the semi-finals of Britain's Got Talent. You will, of course, be on ITV1 this Saturday and you are born and bred Cypriot. And we do want everyone in the community, those listening and all their friends and family to pick up the phone this Saturday and vote for you. It would mean the world to me if everybody could do that. I, I want to say a huge thank you for all your support and the absolutely amazing comments and love that I've been receiving on Twitter and Facebook from everyone in the world, especially from Greece and Cyprus. It's been surreal, really. 
it is something that just happens so suddenly like one day you were just a normal girl trying to make it in the world and then the next thing you know you're on Britain's Got Talent and everyone's talking about you and magazines are calling you up to do photo shoots with you and what I mean how do it feel is it kind of still a little bit surreal definitely very surreal it's just something that you would never imagine in your wildest dreams for it to happen. I mean, when I had this photo shoot last week with OK Magazine, I could just, I think I was in such happy tears when they had all these makeup artists and stylists and there was a rack full of beautiful princess dresses and they were all just, for me, I was so overwhelmed with happiness. Did you just want to pinch yourself and check it was definitely, real? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. How, how has your family felt with all this happening? I mean, they must be so proud and, and excited that you've got through and supportive of you as well. I think the last 10 days they've been, we're really close as a family, all of us, and they've been so supportive and they, re they understand that I need to stay focused because this is what I have to do at this moment. And uh, they're giving me my space to keep my zen and my calmness to be able to do the best I can in these auditions. That first audition as well, it touched so many people, um, partially because of your of your backstory, and it, it is inspirational. There is a lot of people that struggle in life and have difficulties to overcome, and it is inspirational to think, you know what, you can get over stuff and you can move on and you can come out stronger at the other end. But more than that, your voice, is just it's just so beautiful. I mean, my family make fun of me. I am just the least emotional person ever. They just can't get over it. Like, we'll be watching the most saddest films and they'll be in tears, and I'll be like, oh, this is sad and they'll be like, well, cry then. <laughs> but I mean, when I was watching your audition, honestly, like my, my eyes welled up a little bit. It was just so, we could tell that you felt it. Going back to saying that when you said that my audition and what I went through was so inspirational to people, I, I, really, I really do want to tell the people who are out there, maybe going through different health problems or, I'm sorry, or problems such as the one that I had. I know it's really, really, really hard to kind of think that when you're in such a situation that it will pass. But I do promise you that if you, if you just believe in yourself and just keep on feeling really, really positive and feeling the light that is surrounding you, Everybody has a small angel that's sitting on their shoulder that's going to help them get through everything. Oh, I can see you well, just, welling up. And honestly, it, it is, you are such an inspiration. I, never I know you, lose your faith. Everything's going to be fine, one way or the other. <laughs> you are, honestly, you are an inspiration. I know you're getting a bit emotional. So we're going to take a break. We're going to listen to that first audition on Britain's Got Talent because it is, it still makes the hairs at the back of my neck stand up and I'm Greek and there's quite a lot of them, so. <laughs> So 
Wow, what a voice that was, Aliki, on Britain's Got Talent. Honestly, and the comments that you got were phenomenal, especially from Simon Cowell. Simon? Well, you just have a natural talent, Aliki, you know? That lyric was so poignant. And there's something about your energy, Aliki, which is just incredible. <laughs> something special about her. Rude for you. Well done. Hear, hear, Simon Cowell. I'm not one to always agree with him, but I think in that instance, he had a very good point. What a beautiful voice. We'll be back right after this with Aliki. For the latest news, gossip and pictures, find us on Facebook by searching for London Greek Radio and join in the fun. This is London Greek Radio and we're joined by the beautiful Aliki in the studio and her wonderful voice. We do want to play you one more song and I know you want to dedicate this as well. Hello everybody who is listening out there. I just want to give you a um, ray of hope. Just have faith, never lose your faith and just keep all your positive energy and I promise everything will turn out okay. Just like it did for me. And this song is dedicated to everyone out there listening. That was, of course, the beautiful voice of Aligi here on London Greek Radio. If you've just locked in, she's here in the studio with us. And what a pleasure to have her in. She is truly a star and an inspiration. And we hope that everyone picks up the phone and votes for her this Saturday. Aligi Hrisoko, and what a pleasure and delight to have her here at LGR. And please, Aligi, will promise to come back and tell us about the next part of your adventure. It's been a pleasure to be here and meet the both of you. I want to give a huge thank you for all your support, for having me here. And I promise...
promise that on Saturday I will sing my soul out for all of you that have just stood beside me and make all this happen. We will of course all be following your adventure ourselves avidly. We will all be watching on Saturday and we will all be cheering you on. Spirit.